Hello and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country. We are gonna enter the second world, the Monkey Mines, and do our first um, level, <laughs> Winky's Walkway. This is a pretty straightforward level, I'd say. Um, yeah, let's get Winky here because it's his level. Generally, I don't really like the animal helpers and Winky especially because of the fact that he jumps. He doesn't uh, walk properly, uh, which I can demonstrate right here. As you can see, if you're just walking, he jumps. So, if you're gonna have him, make sure you actually jump. Like, push the jump button. I think that's the easiest way to control him. But he can jump on bees and all other types of enemies. Maybe you can try to get this, like that. We're about to uh, head into one of those uh, stages. Yeah, that's the first level. Pretty simple. And uh, on to Minecart Carnage. This is a fun level. So, uh, I'm gonna show you the secret way. Try to anyway, but first I'm gonna play it normally. So. This stage is really fun. I love this one as a kid. There are some awkward jumps here, but um, yeah, it's fun. So, probably not gonna talk too much because it uh, does pick up speed here. Um, so if you're not careful, you will fall into a pit. I'm not gonna go for those bananas. Jump, try to get that. Here come the minecarts. I love the music too, it's so dramatic. Ooh. Aww, we missed the end. Ah, but we got that. Here we go with the Kremlings. I don't know, I, I like to jump in the really steep um, hills. Uh, they're not called hills, but you know, when the track goes upwards because it, it just looks funny kind of humor I can't really explain. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, that was close. And this part is scary. And there's one more guy. Sweet. Okay, so let's head back in there and see if we can find the hidden passage. Switch off the Diddy again. Yeah, if you just jump down here, you can skip the entire level, pretty much. Just have to jump over one Kremlin right here at the end. There we go. So, like so many others, I prefer Diddy over Donkey Kong, just because Diddy is faster and much more agile. Which is what you want in a monkey. Well, <laughs> I keep doing stupid mistakes. Okay, just, mm -hmm. let's just take our time. And let's see if we can set this one down. Switch off the Diddy, because we do have a hidden area here. Right there. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Damn. I suck. <laughs> I'm getting nervous when I'm doing stuff on camera. And there we go again. Come on, platform. Come on, little platform. Up here. It's fine though if you miss uh, an extra life or so, because we're gonna get so many of them, as I said. Alright, let's get down here, and in this area we can get Winky, which he's actually fairly helpful in this level, I would say.
because we we are gonna have to deal deal with a lot of bees, so Let's just take it easy here. Okay, I don't want to deal with that. Ooh, that was close. Aha! I think we're gonna get through this level. I think we are. Right, so either you use this tire right here, or you can use Winky to get up to this uh, barrel right here. I like this bonus stage. It's just fun grabbing bananas in the da dank, dark cave. There we go. Another stage down. On to stop and go station. This one is fun. This one has also a secret, um, a secret to it, or you can complete the stage really fast, which I'll show you after we're done here. See so yeah, how the concept of this level obviously is to not wake these monsters up, because you can't kill them. Thing, the only thing you can do to avoid them is is to let them sleep. Let's see if I can grab this. Aha! Yeah, I'm not very good with that uh, somersaulting and jumping out of it uh, over a pit. It's just uh, something I never really... I haven't done until recent years, so I'm not super good with it. And I don't play this game too much, to be honest. Um, I want to. I mean, I want to. At least I want to be able to memorize where all the the hidden areas are. So um, I guess I'm working on that. If anything, I'm working on that. Aww. Could have gotten a winky token, but alas, I failed. Right, let's go. Like the ambience here too. Pretty creepy. Hit that one twice, just so we can buy ourselves uh, an extra half sec, half a second or something. Let's get that. We'll bring the tire with us, so we can reach that one. And uh, yeah, here we are. We won. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this. If you just turn around and go back out, you'll come out at the very end. At this very last uh, um, oh whatever part of this level, there. Pretty simple. And we have one stage left. Um, mile Millstone Mayhem, which uh, is actually a pretty difficult level, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna guess right here. Yay, I got the K. Sweet. And, um... Yeah, I want to bring this with me. I'm pretty sure. Do I? I don't know. Nope. Apparently not. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. That's right, it's right here. Um, one way you can do this. Now, there is... Actually, let's go and grab that. Because right here, there is a, a tire we can get. Let's see if we can I can show you the proper way of doing that. Because there's another way to get in that uh, barrel that is above this thing, this guy. Uh, which we're going to have to use, because um, <laughs> I failed. Okay, so you take damage like that, and then your other partner will fly up in the air, and you can just go into the barrel like that. Um... That's usually how I do it, because as you saw with that tire, they're not super easy to control. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do this. That's too bad, this is like one of the most boring bonus games. But at least we have a 2 here. So, 
within these bonus games, at least for some of them, um, you can find like a big statue of the animal you're controlling. This is on guard, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, there's a big statue of them that you can get, and you will get like a. What is it? You get t uh, times two for each time you pick pick one of these uh, little tokens up. Um, However, I have only managed to find those big statues in two out of the four Animal Helpers bonus games. So I don't know if there is one in On Guard stage here. Although I know there is like the, the area that has like a one and a two and probably a three and four. Although I don't know where they are. <laughs> I used to be able to find them as a kid, but uh, not anymore apparently. Let's see. Yeah, we can get three extra lives here. And then there is Rambi's uh, minigame, which I've never find, found anything, because uh, the timer moves so quickly that it's over before you know it. But uh, hopefully I get to show off all three, or all four, of the Animal Helpers um, minigames. Here's another one. Ooh, and this one has a green balloon. See, I never found this as a kid. I never found this bonus area, so I never get to experience the joy of finding a green colored or a blue colored balloon. Which to me they look a lot cooler than the red ones. The red one looks too generic. But oh well. It is the way it is. I don't remember if we need this one or not. No, we don't need it. Um should I do this? This is just gonna mess me up, but yeah, okay, whatever. Up there, uh, there's another Winky. Whoops. Up there. Oh no! <laughs> I'm doing a very poor job, poor job playing this game. Oh yeah, I knew I was gonna die there. How stupid. barrel and I'm just gonna skip on the tire because it's just gonna mess me up there we go let's kill the snakes please what same mistake again maybe I should just run there I think I'm gonna try to just run see this is the problem with the stage or oh, well there are and that, there are two stages that look like this in this game. This one and, and one and one in the next uh, world. And they always give me trouble for some reason. Alright, let's just try to run. That worked. Just barely. You're too big. Oh, and we lost him again. I forgot about that bird. Oh, I'm I'm so dead here. There's just no way. <laughs> I am so dead. Oh yeah, I'm so dead. Thank you. Alright. And I'm just gonna have to be prepared for this too. Aha! Ugh. This stage. Just get me out of here. And I forgot to do this in the first world. Talk to Cranky Kong. Uh, but he, he gives you tips. Oh, at last, somebody to chat with. The crafty uh, Croctopus corners his crook. What? I'm not gonna read that. I'm going the swordfish will help you get straight to the point. That's all there is to it. Piece of cake, if you ask me. I always liked Cranky's cabin as a kid. I thought it looked cozy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and save again. Because we're coming up on the boss. Let's save. And um, I guess I can talk about Funky's flights as well. Funky Kong. Um, which, no. Basically what that does is... Um, 
it lets you go from world to world if you want to because you can't do it from within the world so you can use uh, Funky's flight and uh, go to whichever world you want to as you complete them of course but here we go our second boss and he is so dangerous and difficult not really but I guess I could technically mistime this and be in a world of crap but hopefully that won't happen today nope it won't Yay! We killed our second boss. We are so cool. And that's it for World 2. So in the next episode we're gonna enter Wine Valley. So uh, until then, take care and thanks for watching. Bye.